welcome in to another crochet tutorial. Sometimes you just want to put a little embellishment on something, whether that be a hat, a blanket, a scarf, a shawl, a jacket, whatever. This could even be a brooch or a hair clip accessory. Whatever, I'm going to show you how to make a flower motif. So begin with your slip stitch and from there chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Go to your beginning just there and you want to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. So you end up with a ring. Now, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. At this point, to make things easier for you, I suggest turning your work so that your tail is on your working side. Just makes things a little bit easier. Now we want to double crochet three times into the center of that ring. So yarn over and in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do that for a total of three double crochets. Now from here we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And do another three double crochets into the center. One, two, and three. And at this point, it's a good idea to just move your work around that ring a little bit. Now, I am using a thicker yarn just so you can see what's going on. But I highly suggest experimenting using different thicknesses of yarn. Give different, different styles, different shows, different sizes of flower, of course. So we need to, now we've done our three we need to make another chain of three. One, two, three, and another three double crochets into that ring. So yarn over and in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do it for a total of three times. Move it round a little bit and chain three. You want to do this repeat a total of five times. So you end up with five of these circles, as you will see. So three double crochets. One, two, and three. So now we have four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and another three double crochets. I'm using my custom made hook by Jelena over at Cutlery Designs on Etsy, extremely reasonably priced. She is linked down below in the description and she custom makes hooks for you and your design. Now, just here, we, we do have our five rings around the edge, almost looking like a five pointed star, but we have a slight issue, just a slight one. This is our beginning chain. 
and it's kind of all on its own. We need to turn it into a cluster. So we've just finished one cluster. We're going to chain three. And we're going to make that part of the cluster. So let's do two double crochets to finish off the base of our flower. That's one. And oops, I brought the tail through with me. Keep your mistakes in, Lisa, because you're human. Many wouldn't believe it. So that's a two. And this acts as the three. So that would be the finishing cluster. So from here to join, you want to go into the third stitch on your beginning chain. So one, two, and three. It can be a little bit difficult sometimes to go into that third, but make sure you do go in and get the front and the back of that stitch. Yarn over, pull. Oh, look at me. I'm doing going in for a double. Silly woman, you slip stitching. Going in, yarn over and pull through. So there you have. Oops, out the way, out the way, out the way. I want to show the lovely people. So there we have. Oh, look, see, I'm molting as well. My goodness. Okay. So there we have our flower base. Now, we're going to go and work into each of these outside rings. Starting with the very first, we are going to, oh, bear with me. I apologise. I had a coughing fit coming on. I'm so sorry. OK, so working in the first ring, we are going to do a single crochet. Now, working in these rings, things are going to get a little tight. So make sure that you constantly move your stitches over because otherwise you're going to get too crowded and, and possibly run into a little bit of trouble. So we've done a single crochet. Next, we do a half double crochet into that same ring space. From there, we are going to do five double crochets into the same space. I did say it was going to get a little crowded. So five doubles. One. two, three, four, whoops, and five. I'll just move them along a little bit. And as soon as you've done your five, you want to do one half double and a single all in that ring. So you end up with a nice curve. Now we're going to the next ring. Exactly the same pattern. So we are going to single crochet to begin with. Next we are going to half double. So yarn over in, yarn over pull through, three on your hook, yarn over pull through all three. Move it over. Five double crochets all into that ring. Yarn over in, yarn over pull through three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two for your double crochet. So that's one. Do it another four times. 
one, two, three, and a total of five double crochets. Move them along a little bit. Half double crochet next into the same ring and a single crochet to finish that ring off. Okay. Next ring, single crochet, half double crochet, move it along, five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, move them along, half double, and in that same ring finish off with a single, three done, three to go. So single, half double, push along, five double, one, two, three, whoops, four, and five, push along, half double, and finish with the single. Two to go. Single crochet, half double crochet, five doubles, I don't know why my camera keeps blurring, it's very annoying, that's four, and for the fifth one, Go along, half double crochet, and end on a single to finish that ring. And we have one ring left. Single, half double, five double, all in the same ring, there's three, four, all oh, cramp, Woo. sorry, One, two, three, four, one more, half double, and end on a single, and we're practically finished. All we need to do is fasten off. So if you separate those a little bit, use this, which is the top of the second cluster from below, the second double crochet, use this and go in 
for a slip stitch without removing your hook, preferably. <laughs> and there, let's use a hanky marker. Oops. There we have our flower. So let me just give you a, a better view. There you go. All you need to do is just tighten off your ring in the center a little bit. Maybe put a bead in the center. Weave in your end. Well, ends, because you've got your one up there as well. And there you have a quite simple, easy, quick flower motif. Hopefully it was good for you. Hopefully it's of use. Maybe it might inspire you to make your own design. Maybe. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe. If it was of any use whatsoever, please make sure you give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. And while you're there, have a look in the description. You never know what might be. And the subscribe button's there too. Please take a gander. Maybe you might want to join in on the 2K giveaway. Maybe. That'll be linked right now. Take care. Bye-bye.